problem that comes from the textbook. It says that b subscript f squared equals b subscript i squared plus 2a delta x. And the v sub f means the final velocity squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration. And the, this delta is going to be change in position and change in position is displacement. So don't worry too much about what these variables mean. That's what we'll be doing when we get to physics. This is just a review of algebra. So I really just want to focus on the fact that you're going to be solving the following equation for v sub i. And in order to do that, you need to get v sub i by itself. So if we subtract the right side by 2a delta x, and if you're drawing it to the right side, you must do it to the left side. So minus 2a delta x. Then the 2a delta x's go away on the right side. And you're just left with v final squared minus 2a delta x equals vi squared. But the problem says to solve for v uh, subscript i. So you might recall from algebra that to, to unsquare a function, you have to take square root. And if you're going to do it to the right side, you must do it to the left side. So v sub i equals square root of v final squared minus 2a delta x. And that square root can be plus or minus because you might recall that square root of 4 equals plus minus 2. And that's where the plus minus comes from over here. And you have to realize in physics, sometimes your answers can be positive or negative. And sometimes an answer, when you square root it, if it comes out negative, you just throw it out. But this is a great example. You'll be seeing problems like this as we get to the, the first chapter on physics. And so it was a good chance for you to review how to solve for a squared variable.